Yo, it's your boy Bob, and this week I'm bringing you a new tutorial. So without further ado, the helicopter tutorial. Alright, so the way that I'm going to teach this tutorial is first I'm going to have you do it up on a block and teach you the way that I learned it step by step. And then after that I'm going to go ahead and show some drills that will help you get the kick and the arm push and everything down and more specifics of it. Step number one, push up into a straddled handstand. The longer you can hold this position and the bigger your straddle is, the better off you're going to be learning this move. Step number two is going to be a cartwheel on the block. When you do a cartwheel on the block, you want to start with one foot in front of the other, end with one foot in front of the other, and you want to hit that straddled handstand position in the middle of it. This is not a gymnastics cartwheel. You will not be doing it in a straight line. You will stay on one side of the block the entire time you're doing it. Step number three is the leg thing that actually makes the helicopter what it is. For this step, what you want to do is you want to start in front of your block just like you did for your straddle handstand. Then you're going to go up into your straddle handstand position, sweep one of your feet really close to the block, and the other one staying in a straddle should be above you because they should stay as far apart as you can the whole time. Then you should land on the opposite foot that did not sweep underneath. If you cartwheel to your left side, then you will be sweeping your right foot down and landing on your left foot. If you cartwheel to the right side, you will be sweeping your left foot down underneath and landing on your right foot. This is a step that you should take a while to do and get really good at because the better your sweep is with your legs, the better the entire thing is going to be. It's the most important part of this whole tutorial. Step number four is going to be doing the sweep from a cartwheel. So if you're doing this on your left side with a left cartwheel, you're going to start with your left foot in front, cartwheel up into your straddle handstand position, and then once you're in that position, you're going to sweep the legs the way that you just learned them to do and land on your right foot. If you're doing this on your right side with a right cartwheel, you're going to start with your right foot in front, get into that straddle handstand position, and then sweep your left foot really close to the block underneath and land on your right foot. So now you're pretty much doing a helicopter, but you're doing a cheated version because you're doing it on a higher block. So what you want to do is find a little bit lower block and work your way down. Don't try to go straight from a high block straight to flat ground because it just won't work. Try to work your way down really slowly and it will work out a lot better for you. As you work your way down to the ground, you're probably going to figure out what you're bad at and what you're good at in this move. Some people are really bad at sweeping their legs and the one leg that sweeps underneath kind of brings up and they go together and you don't straddle the entire time. Another problem I see often is they don't hold the handstand position. If you let your hips drop down, you don't hold that handstand as you sweep your legs around, then no matter how nice you sweep your legs, you're going to fall and it's not going to work out. I know I'm playing through these progressions very quickly, but to get to the actual flat ground from the top block took me about two months on my left side, and to get it after I already had it on my left side to get on my right side took me about two weeks to get. So don't expect yourself to just go straight from the tall block all the way to flat ground in like one day. Now all of what I just said is like the most basic helicopter tutorial that I can give. I'm going to go ahead and go into more detail and give you some drills and other skills that you should learn that will really help you get this trick and get it really nice and clean. Now if your helicopter looks like this, you're really close but you can't get that last push, here's a drill that might help for you. So if that seems to be your problem where you're just falling forward out of it every time, practice a few cartwheels in slow motion and practice a few cartwheels where you actually stop yourself in a handstand straddle because that will force you to keep the weight on your hands and really focus on having all that weight through your shoulders and arms as you're swinging your legs around. Another common problem that I personally had in my helicopters when I first tried them is I would try to cheat it and treat it more like a front handspring and like hop off my hands instead of just walking up out of it. So if your helicopter looks like this when you try it, pretty much just drill all of them better. Try to work on getting more flexibility, try to get a better sweep, and once you combine all those things together and get it really nice, it'll be easier to step up out of it and you won't have to really hop off your hands like that. Also, just to point this out, a lot of people try to do like a cartwheel and then just like snap their foot over real fast like this. If you're doing that, you just need to do more drills where you sweep your legs around nice and big and far because if you're just trying to snap your legs down together, it just it's not the same trick. That's like a cartwheel hyper or something like that. So if the leg swing and getting a nice big straddle swing around seems to be your problem, here's a bunch of drills for you. The reason I'm giving a bunch of drills for this one is it's probably the most common problem. People just aren't very good, including me, at sweeping their legs really far and big around in a circular motion. So first of all, I just want to say that third step that I did at the very beginning of this tutorial is probably the most helpful step. Practice that one a lot if your sweep isn't very good. Here's another leg kicking sweeping drill. 
when you do this, you want to make sure that you're driving your leg as high as you can. One way to help that out is you can put like a foam block or something down, a target to kick, and try to kick it as far as you can and make sure you're lifting that foot as high as you possibly can. Another really helpful drill for getting that sweep better is a flat spin on trampoline. Pretty much all flat spin is is a back bounce on trampoline where you sweep your legs like a helicopter and then if you want, tuck up into a ball and try to spin around as far as you can. This will really drill into you that you have to keep your legs wide for a sweep because if you don't keep your legs wide for the sweep on the trampoline drill, you just won't rotate very far around. And your goal for this one is just to try to rotate as fast and as powerful as you can, so kick really hard. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it, but I believe it's called a star kip up, maybe a starfish kip up, something like that. But what you're going to do is you're going to lay on your back, and the same way that you sweep your legs for the helicopter, you're going to sweep your legs up across your body and then push up to your feet. Now, if your straddle's really bad and you're just a moron like this guy, <laughs> then this next sentence is for you. One thing that'll really help you is just holding a nice straddle. And one thing that'll really help is if you do it up against the wall like this. This will really help put you in the right position that you need to be in, the position that you should feel in the middle of a helicopter as well as a star kip. All right, so here's one last drill that might help you with your helicopter. I believe it's called a Tinzica. It's pretty much just a cartwheel and a front walkover mixed together. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how to do this trick, but pretty much you just wanna have a really good cartwheel and you also wanna have very good shoulder flexibility. The reason that this skill is important to learn is because it teaches you how to stand up out of your helicopter and teaches you how to push out of your shoulder for that landing. So if your shoulder flexibility looks like this, guys, then you probably need to start doing more bridges, and more specifically, you should do more bridges with your feet up on an object. So like I said before, doing a bridge with your feet up on an object will help you stretch your shoulders even more. If you look at the line on the ground that my hands are currently on, you can see that I'm trying to push my shoulders and my chest as far past that line as I possibly can. Another really helpful stretch is putting your hand on a wall and pushing your shoulder towards that wall and really pushing out as far as you can until you feel that really nice stretch with a straight arm, not a bent arm. So real quick as I'm playing these in slow motion, I just kind of want to break it down and tell you what I'm thinking during it. First you start in your cartwheel position, your hands touch the ground, all your weight goes up onto your hands and it's immediately you're thinking like you're in a straddle handstand position. And when I do my sweep for my helicopter, I don't stop thinking about the sweep when my feet pass my hands. I think about it all the way up, even when it's in the air, all the way until my other foot's touching the ground, I'm still standing back up. Then once you're back on your foot, you just push out of your shoulder a little bit, and with the rotation of that sweep, it helps lift you right back up onto your feet. All right, that is all for the tutorial for today. So if you liked it, go ahead and subscribe right here. I have plenty of other videos on tutorials and on kind of vlog style videos where I do raw training, and then I also have show reels, and you can view all of those right here. So make sure to check out my other content, and I will see you guys next time. Comment below if you have any other tips on this trick. See you guys next time.